السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم <تصفيق> Ladies and gentlemen Friends, colleagues Honorable Dr'ale Wakina mama Wavijana Habari zenu <تصفيق> Nisalimieni bana Bono mnakata salamu yangu Habari zenu <تصفيق> سأو سأو سأو. I am delighted and excited to be here this evening to be in the presence of somebody that I have admired in the last two years or so. As the person who is in the leadership arena, I have had opportunities to teach leadership development through Global Initiative Food System Leadership from University of Minnesota, and I have traveled to South America, to Europe, to Asia, to Africa, trying to teach leadership, leadership competency skills to food safety workers. Food safety, anybody who knows anything about it, is the most diverse, multicultural field in any field you can think of. Think about your dinner tonight. And when you're eating it, think about how many countries the ingredients have moved from. So this is as diversity as it gets. And when I think about leadership competency and I look at Duale in his presentation through the, you know, like Jelani, I've watched him a lot in YouTubes and the likes. We look at folks who understand Le leadership is about making change happen. And to make change happen, you have to demonstrate listening skills. Through listening, competency number one, you build understanding. And when you understand, then you position yourself to negotiate. A leader has to know negotiation is about making reality, you know. Sometimes it involves disappointing people at a rate they can tolerate putting things into perspective where we can have short-term goals and long-term goals. And after negotiation, you build teams and you become an agent of change. Politics, as Wellston State always stated, is about changing lives. Politics is about changing lives. So Mr. Duale, when I watched you in Isli last year, talk about the injustices that are done to Fox, the atrocities that were committed, the bribes and the rampant corruption that went on. The passion and the courage you demonstrated it gave us all goosebumps and for that I salute you. Thank you. I was asked to talk a little bit about women and children. And tonight I stand here in solidarity with women from Kenya and especially women from the marginalized community, the arid and the semi-arid lands. Kenya, even after 50 years of independence, I am afraid, it breaks my heart that it is categorized as one of the worst 10 countries in the world to be pregnant. In Kenya, even after 50 years, the maternal mortality rate is terrible. Worse off, people in the northeastern region have twice as much likely to experience maternal mortality. In fact, with the Jubilee government, they were able to create free maternity, right? Which was one of their manifestos, and kudos to them. But we don't have health facilities in place, so what has been happening is the demand for the care was, you know, more than the health care facilities and the beds available. As a mother who has had three children, I cannot imagine being in labor and I'm being asked to go back home because there's not enough bed. In Northeastern, 70%, seven out of every 10 women has a baby at home. And this is a contributing factor to the maternal mortality we're experiencing, right? Uh, the lack of access to healthcare and poor quality of healthcare is even made worse by the recent conflicts, widespread conflicts that are becoming more severe with time which is a total atrocity. I have to acknowledge the many, 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 many effort that are out there in the community that is working so hard to change the tides. But we all know the causality of this problem, the proliferation of arms, inadequacy, policing, insecurity, land issues, political incitements, ethnocentric problems are all major contributing factors. Now the severe consequences, ladies and gentlemen, is 70% of women and children become displaced, lives lost, properties lost, and worst of all, 
it brings hate. And it is hate that is bringing the problems that are experienced. It makes this cyclic over and over and over again. I was told I have one minute, so I'll skip to my most important point for the night. For here, yes, for here I think you should join politics. You know, when you are talking, I was saying you must be vying for a seat around here. So I think you must, because you are, you are very passionate.